to go back into lip mode. Hello, it's Kinnan again. This is a nighttime all brand. The are a go down color. and feed the it's cats. Bright, um, orange to I had a meeting dirt. tonight. Someone asked now, me what my stage name material. was. What about, I wrote back, it's Enrique. Hey. <laughs> Challenged investor. <laughs> Don't, my road name's Kenny. Uh, why am I watching a tutorial on the Unreal Engine? And what is the Unreal Engine 5? The Unreal Engine 5, this might not be the one I use. It's free open source software. And it's what a lot of video games, Hogwarts Legacy, I think was made on this engine. And it's free to use. So here's this idea I have. Um, you only have to pay royalties if the project you do makes over $1 million. So um, no, I'm not making a reptilian video game. But... I, I am a trained artist. I'm working with a very, very talented illustrator. I've shown some of the art. It's on the thumbnails of my videos for the book. But after the book is done, uh, you know, something to do in a summertime project. How does that sound? This is perfect for some. Um, I'm thinking about possibly using the Unreal Engine. Yeah, let me see something here. What are the um, system requirements? Windows 10, quad-core Intel, or AMD. Well, you'll probably see by the video title already. My idea is to design a actual three-dimensional Alpha Draconian Reptilian. I can make a couple of them. Standing around uh, a <laughs> cult circle doing black magic. and You know, like some type of interactive. I'm thinking ahead here, okay? For me to survive what I'm doing, yeah. Can my system run this? I got an old workstation, but yeah, it's a Dell Precision. A Xeon 4-core processor. 32 gigs of RAM. Not too shabby. It's an older workstation, but hey. I bought this refurbished uh, when Trump gave us the $1,200 um, stimulus checks. That was the word I'm looking for. And also got a lot of equipment for my live streaming um, through the help with another um, sub of mine who helped donate for the live streaming equipment. And so I could, in theory, yeah, I could work with this Unreal Engine. And what I'm thinking about doing is designing a three-dimensional alpha draconian reptilian and this would be putting my video production up a whole nother notch and this could be something possibly i can even make as an interactive piece of software interesting right not only could i work on a book we can kick things up a notch and going forward in the future this this might be the way to go digital media is definitely in right now and this would be something that nobody else out there well there there's people out there designing things don't get me wrong um people are always this is what i'm doing on youtube right now I'm watching this guy teach the basics the interface once you get the basics down for a piece of software for me i'm self-taught for every piece of software i use and operate from video production live streaming i'm d I, I taught myself how to fix my own computer <laughs> i've had some help along the way don't get me wrong but i so yeah i'm possibly thinking about downloading the unreal engine and trying to uh yeah possibly make a three-dimensional alpha draconian i'm i'm moving on even you know um i don't know how the animations work because most video games use something called motion capture where they have someone like behind a green screen wearing this like black jumpsuit with these little neon balls on it and it tracks their movements in films that i know what motion capture is i don't have a motion capture studio but i might be able to do some basic 3d animations yeah 
So what do you guys think? How do you like my... Yeah, and Hogwarts Legacy is making all kinds of and more all in... Uh, one, a Transformer activist who doesn't like J.K. Rowling threatened to slit her throat on... And this was an author that writes horror novels that are trans-based. Um, I don't know if you heard the story. You might have heard it. I was like, oh my... Like, yeah, uh, these people need help. Yeah, so... Um, that's why I don't... I'm not watching the news tonight. I got no alternative media links open. I don't want to. I came back from the meeting. I said, you know, let me... Maybe possibly play around with uh, the Unreal Engine. <laughs> or learn a little bit more about it. But, um... <clears throat> Hogwarts Legacy, yeah, is getting, uh... You see what happens when you don't go woke? This video game did so good... Because people wanted to be spiteful towards the woke. And the 99% shows what showed what capitalism is. What built this country. And when the money runs out for socialists. And they have no more of the money raised from capitalism to tap into. Then they start coming after us and taking. Yeah, that's how um, communism works. Then they come for your property, your kids, your land, your animals, your pets. Uh, I'm not kidding. Yeah, we, do we, so. You've probably heard about the Russia-China alliance by now. Mentioned today. That's all, yeah, that's why I got. Yeah, that's not even rant about that. We're going to, we'll have a rant in the morning. How does that sound? That's when I do better. <laughs> or, um. So I don't know, is anyone listening to this video familiar with the Unreal Engine? Have you used it? The minimum requirements is 32 gigs of RAM, so I can do it. <laughs> oh wait, if you have Windows, it's 8 gigs. Only if, if you have Linux, okay. If you're running Ubuntu. Oh, I've been looking into possibly going Linux one day. Definitely. I Microsoft, I don't trust this. I, look, they, every update, they just had another update. I get the Microsoft news feed now. Pretty soon, you're going to have to have the jabber do to log on to your computer. You think I'm kidding? It's, well. <laughs> uh, well, that's what, what. What do you think the Great Reset's going to be? You think I'm kidding? Uh, they will, yeah. So anyway, that's all for my rant here. And yeah, I might, um, here, I'll pin this as the top comment if you're curious. It's the Unreal Engine. It's free. Unreal Engine is free for creating linear content like films and for custom and internal projects. It's also free in many cases for game development. A 5% royalty only kicks in and when your title earns over 1 million US dollars. And you could use it for all kinds of things. Architecture, film and television, animation, automotive and transportation, simulation. Yeah, and it's all free. Because it's open source. That's how I get a lot of the software that I do. Open source. That's it. my book writing software. I'm using Libre Open Office, and a subscriber recommended that towards me, and that's open source. Yeah, so. Anyway, yeah, that's my idea. And this is something I'm not talking about. I'm going to start doing tomorrow. Um, no, I mean, eventually somewhere in the future i would like to get a better computer honestly and all then i could develop a game if i if i make a 3d rendered alpha draconian model right um 90 percent there for what i would need to create a reptilian based video game because it's part of the hardest parts of 
a game. The Unreal Engine is good for the backgrounds, you know what I mean? And it's good for basic 3D modeling, but I could take some of the drawings, paintings, pictures that I have of Alpha Draconians already, even though they're two-dimensional on paper, and convert them into three-dimension. Yeah, that you can do that. I don't, uh, I don't know if the Unreal Engine does that, but it, there is scanning software that can help you do that. You scan images, and you could 3D model them. So yeah, that, that, that's definitely something in the future that I could, and I, it, just to get started to learn how to use the interface and all that. Yeah, I, um, I could do this. Minimum, you got to have at least a quad core Intel or AMD. 2.5 gigahertz or faster. And obviously a decent video card. And if you have a Mac, yeah, same. You can do this on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Yeah, so, I mean. And these are very in-depth lectures I found from a YouTube channel called Unreal Sensei. I'll pin this in the top comments also if anyone's curious. If you want to learn how to use Unreal Engine, he goes every, he goes over everything. This is like the first tutorial how to install it, how to use the interface. And um, then obviously it gets a lot more in depth, but this is like a create a game tutorial. So uh, creating a video game is obviously a lot more. I mean, game studios hire some of them hundreds of people. Larian Studios, who is working on Baldur's Gate three, which is why I don't think Hogwarts Legacy is going to be game of the year, because the woke will have nothing to complain about. Dungeons and Dragons and it's more of an adult based RPG and that's what people are but you know I think a lot of the people upset about the RPG elements of Hogwarts Legacy kind of like me are just used to we play Divinity you know a lot of the tabletop D&D based at very advanced mechanics um, and RPG systems and all that leveling up and learning different you know it gets in depth and every single npc in a larian game you could talk to you can buy items from you can kill them <laughs> you can, and, and it all affects the the story and the environment around you so if you want to be evil in one of those games people are going to treat you like you're evil and it will you there will be consequences that's what gives them you know but that's a but you know what Hogwarts Legacy is fun. I'm having fun with it so far. I, thanks again to Mike, Mike, the sub who bought it for me. Uh, I, I'm going to get some more Hogwarts videos uploaded. I haven't been playing for a few days, but maybe I'll play tonight. Maybe I'll record. So I, I think the last video I put up was uh, when I got the broom lessons. See, I, I'm a video game player, but like I'll take few days off from a game and then I'll binge it and I'll get a lot done like up I'm up to level 18 right now and I'm about to learn my first evil curse Crucio I gotta do um, quest for Sebastian and then uh, that'll be fun anyway that's all for my video game and unreal engine tech nerd geek grant whatever you want to call it it's still fun though right let's see did we hit 500 subs yet which I, we got to be good on youtube till we hit a thousand subs so i can get super chat back and um yeah we'll get there Burl. I was talking about. 
Beryl. No, I didn't say. Okay, Nick Weaver. Um, all right, I'm answering comments too. No big deal. He thought that I had said Veryl, V E R Y L, around 4058 in my live stream last night. I said Viril. I was talking about the Viril, which is V R I L L. It's probably my Philly slang that made it sound like Viril. That's very possible. <laughs> yeah, but that had nothing to do with the Viril chloride from Ohio that was. No, no, they there was no connection there. No. In fact, I'll write that in the comments for him. I said for real. I don't even have to go to the video. I know what I was talking about. I know what I said. Uh, barrel. Oh, okay. Then he wrote it again. No big deal. I answered him. I said for real. Alright, anyway, any questions or comments, leave them below. Yeah, we are going to live stream tomorrow night, don't worry. I got a cool live stream that I'm going to set up for tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Until then, I'm going to geek out. Uh, I'm staying away from main, alternative mainstream media. I'm even getting sick of the Microsoft news feed on Windows. Because this thing be like, breaking news! Donald Trump farted. I'll pull it up. Yeah, whatever. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're code blow. We're getting bad winter storm across the country. Isn't that great? Yeah, big, huge winter storm to spread all that water across the United States and up the... Uh, whatever. I don't even want to think about it. I could be being a hypochondriac, and I don't because I, well, I'm in Philadelphia, and... Um, my stomach for like the past two days has just felt like funky and don't know what it is it's not because of weed because um, someone smoked me up and I went to my meeting tonight and usually that takes care of any type of like nausea you might have I don't know maybe I, I don't know what it is it'll pass though hopefully that's why you know I don't want to think about it right now. So anyway, um, when I stream tomorrow night, it'll probably be around 7 p.m. And I, I always make videos during the day, I'll let you guys know. And I'm going to still try to get some other good lectures re-uploaded. In fact, I, um, I might do one when I'm done this video. I got a couple that I want to upload that I was talking about in the stream anyway any questions or comments leave them below God bless and take care